There's actual chunks of sea bass. There's lime leaves, lemongrass, chili, all the spices that you know and love from Tom Yum. First time trying it dry. I didn't even know this dish existed until we came here. Beautiful thing about Songkla is also the diversity. So we're actually on a street here that there's a mosque right next to me. There's also, you'll find Thai temples here, Chinese Buddhist temple. So you have a mix here of Thai, Chinese, even Malay. And speaking of Malay, we actually found a roti shop here. Chewy, but what I love is that it has this side of curry. Interestingly, this has minced chicken inside too. Mm. That beautiful cumin, little spice. Slightly sweet too, which is interesting. But I love the flavor of this chicken. You combine it with that roti. It feels like we're back in Malaysia. We actually are only a couple hours away driving. So is very close to the border. What we also have here is the tea. See, she put the tea into that sock for the hot water. Even though it's not tetaric, it tastes just like tetaric. It has that perfect blend. You really taste the tea. It's slightly sweet from the condensed milk, and there's also a little bit of evaporated milk, so it's that creamy tea combo. It's great. This street here has a lot of halal restaurants on it too, right by the mosque, so it's very cool. I love the cultural diversity of this city. next spot that we are going to highlight it is we have our friends Pat and Julia veggies on tour to thank for because they let us here this place it's a vegetarian um, spot imagine having vegetarian food with Thai flavors a oh, healthy version of Thai food healthier version actually of Thai food all right let's go When it comes to vegetarian food, we love South Indian vegetarian food and Sri Lankan vegetarian food. But it's the first time having Thai vegetarian food right here in Songkhla. And just the, the spices, you could just see how boldly flavored this is going to be. There's chopped up lemongrass all on top of this tofu. You have this green curry here that look absolutely beautiful. I love how they serve it out of these floral pots in the front. It's more like steam table style eating, which we love. All the food was cooked one way. There's this nice yellow curry here with bamboo shoots, and best of all, it's on top of this beautiful red rice. Let's try this. Tofu is really calling my name. You see all that chopped up lemongrass. There's so much of it. Mm. Really got a kick in there too. The chilies, the lemongrass. I don't usually eat tofu that much, but with lemongrass and chilies on it like this, I can eat this kind of tofu very, very often. This green curry here is really a must order, especially the way it just soaks up into the rice and also comes with looks like chayote. Mm. There's a nice creamy coconut milk 
little spicy, lemongrass, and you really don't miss the meat when it comes to this. That's what's beautiful about this place, is there's such bold flavors in the food that you don't miss the meat at all. You actually feel like you're eating healthy. Usually about eight or nine different choices that you can choose over rice. Uh, the earlier the better, they start running out, and this place is open till about two or three o'clock. part of the episode which is made possible by you where you buy us a coffee we do the walking and also the drinking thanks to you right down here for making this even more possible help us support more local coffee shops like this one by buying us a coffee thank you This might be the biggest iced coffee ever in our life. Looks more like a beer mug than a coffee mug. I'm cool with that. <laughs> this place is really cool. It's called Mana Cafe Srisuda. It's named after because this is on Srisuda Alley here in Songkla. A nice front yard area where everyone's sitting. These little small wooden tables, wooden stools. It's a real funky layout. It's a family-owned spot, and they make their coffee right on this cart right behind you. So they use the mocha espresso like, percolator type device. It's really cool, like really old school. I just love it. Like when we first came here, we fell in love with the spot. He actually has a manual coffee grinder. He grinds the beans by hand. espresso machine but it's like different style called a mocha it's really cool I haven't really seen it used before coming here I know it exists but something different compared to what we've seen in Thailand where they have the espresso machines like you're maybe used to great coffee this is so nice and refreshing just all that ice it's strong but it's not too it's not really bitter it's smooth I just love the vibe of this place there's, there's no place quite like it <laughs> Before we get our main meal of the day, let's have dessert first before they close. <laughs> this dessert spot, there's just too many of them here, but apparently, is this the original? Uh, it's debated which is the original one. We're gonna break it down for you exactly what this is. This is a very unique style of ice cream here, originated in Songkla. Might be the most famous dish in all of Song Cloud. It's a very unique style of ice cream. They use egg yolk. That's right, egg yolks on ice cream. Sounds crazy, right? Have you ever tried <laughs> ice cream with egg yolk? Uncooked eggs. That's right. Here we are. About to have it. Yep. So Songkla has a few different old ice cream shops here. Some are about 100 years old. 
And this is one of them here, Bang Li Hyang. It's a really cool spot. What makes this one unique is that they actually have one that you can have with green mung beans, which is what we got. They have two flavors of ice creams, coconut and vanilla. vanilla. They crack that egg yolk on here, the raw egg yolk, gives it that orange color, and then they top it off with some Milo or Ovaltine powder. It's a chocolate powder. Oh man, it looks good. A hot day like today. And when you mix everything together, it is just that delicious. I love the flavor of those mung beans and the texture it gives. It gives it almost more of a savory texture to go with it. Coconut milk ice cream is so nice and refreshing, creamy. Let's get some of that egg yolk. Mm. You really get that eggy flavor on it. Gives it like a really kind of a chewy consistency because as it gets colder, it kind of solidifies some more. It gives it a different texture to go with the ice cream and it blends really well with that vanilla especially. So if you come here, you gotta get it with the mung beans. The mung beans just adds a little, adds more texture to it. Not really funky at all. It, just, it tastes really good. You definitely do taste that egg yolk. It, it comes in pretty strong, but it doesn't overwhelm it. It's so refreshing. I like the shop gives you two flavors. You can get coconut and the vanilla, which we got. You can get just one flavor, but I like it to mix. You get a, a variation of the flavors. But I really think the mung beans make this a winner. Yeah. Uh, so cool to meet the family. So now it's on the third and fourth generations of this shop. It's been open for 100 years. So special. Amazing. Originally, the recipe came from China and they brought it here since this was or used to be a very big trading port in Southeast Asia. Yeah. This next stuff is also part of a Songkla town's rich history. Apparently, this is one, it's one of, of the oldest restaurants. It's around 80 years old, this place. It's a Thai Chinese restaurant. We haven't even been here yet. It's our first time. So we'll take a look, see what they have. <laughs> Since Song Kla is by the water, we are so excited to have seafood. Alright, so we're at the spot called Te Hyang Ao. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's an old school Thai Chinese restaurant right here in the middle of Old Town Song Kla. I love the vibe of this place. It's very open and high ceiling. Even there's a picture of New York City on the wall. It makes us feel quite at home. Older picture too, but I love the vibe of this place. They specialize in seafood here, so of course, like Jimmy said, we got a lot of seafood. Got some really interesting dishes here. I'm gonna start off with this one. It's a dry tum yum with sea bass. There's actual chunks of sea bass. There's lime leaves, lemongrass, chili, all the spices that you know and love from tum yum. First time trying it dry. I didn't even know this dish existed until we came here. Of course, you gotta have it over rice. It's that thicker sauce. Instead of a broth, it's more like a gravy. That is just delicious. I love the combo of those flavors. Sweet, sour, spicy. That kick of the lime leaf is really strong. There's whole lime leaves in here. Whole stalks of lemongrass. So it's a little like the texture of the sauce is more like on that starchier side, but I love it because it has those Thai tom yum flavors. It's delicious. All right, up next we have this green mango salad. Shredded. Comes with a little bit of chilies on the side. Add some chilies too. Mm. 
very refreshing, crisp. It has little of that fishy flavor because there's some shredded preserved squid in here too. Very refreshing and light. It's got that perfect fresh green mango flavor. Really nice order because it's very refreshing. It's one of the specialties here at this restaurant. My favorite way of eating fish is deep fried. And I don't think I've had mullet before, but it tastes so good and it tastes so fresh. And then they also have fish egg. It's also deep fried. And this egg, I mean this fish, also has more eggs. <sighs> I'm eating plenty of fish right now in one fish. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> this is my favorite. Got to enjoy more of this fish. And you'll see this fish. Wow. That is delicious. It's all crunchy. I can just eat the whole thing.